right for you to support this event tonight? Uh, look, I, I love getting out and supporting these guys. And, you know, this, this uh, event is, has been supporting uh, equal rights, you know, gay rights, gay, you know, the right for gay marriage, anti-bullying, a lot of fantastic causes for a long, long time now, Lambda. So uh, I think they deserve all the support they can get. Uh, personally, I, you know, I have a deep-seated belief that in any democracy, people should have the right to pursue their own happiness. They have, should have the freedom to do so, and they should be allowed to love whoever they choose, um, and that we're not hurting anybody. You know, when we when we choose to love another human being. You know, me, I happen to be straight. I've got two kids, but you know, I don't see the difference between that and two, you know, dedicated fathers raising a family or two dedicated mothers raising a family. The key is is to have a loving family. Yeah. And what do you do um, to support causes like this? Do you belong to any other foundations? No, I don't. Uh, look, my my thing is basically. Um, I come, look, I come from Australia. I, I had to come to a, the United States to find out that you needed one. You know, we have openly uh, gay politicians, ministers. Our prime minister is an, athe an unmarried atheist who, you know, has a 20-year relationship with a man. We don't really see things in the same terms. But, you know, my children are American and, uh, and, and they're living here now. And, you know, I want them and every other child growing up in this country to have the same rights no matter what their orientation, no matter what their gender, no matter what their beliefs. And so you're working on this show called Defiance. Okay, Defiance. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, Defiance is a post-apocalyptic science fiction show that I'm doing for Sci-Fi Network. Uh, and we've, uh, we're halfway through our first season on Sci-Fi and we just got picked up for a second. So uh, I'm about to go up to Toronto and start again. How, and how do you prepare for a role in science fiction? Well, I don't have much to do. I get a lot of dirt thrown on me. Uh, and I wear the same costume every day for six months, so I'm pretty lucky. Um, for some of the others, there's a lot of prosthetics and a lot of makeup and having to figure out how aliens walk and talk and do all that sort of stuff, but my job is very, very simple. What's the best part about being on a show like that? Um, I have the wonderful job of being a really grumpy uh, guy with a gun who is always getting into fistfights or trouble in the brothel, so I don't have to talk a lot. That's the best part. And do you have any other projects in the works right now? I was. Uh, I have a, a film with uh, David Ross called I Do, which is actually a pro-gay uh, marriage movie, which is out at the moment. It's in uh, selected cinemas around Los Angeles and the rest of the United States. Um, so that's out. And uh, yeah, over the summer, I think I did three so far. Um, Swelter will be the first one out. It's a heist film with... Uh, the lovely Alfred Molina, um, uh, Lenny James, and Jean-Claude Van Damme and I, and Josh Henderson from Dallas. Wow, great yeah. cast. Yeah, lovely cast. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.